Snow fell soft against an indigo sky sprinkled with stars, nature's adornment in the crisp yuletide air. Unheeding of the snow that fell upon her shoulders, the woman remained still in deep concentration. Using the sight that was her gift, she saw a young maiden stir within pleasant dreams that caused her eyelashes to flutter, while tiny beads of sweat glistened against cheeks. Entering the girl's dream, the woman heard a sound that called her attention so that she looked about for the source. Nearby, a campfire flickered, lighting the attentive faces of a group as they sat in a circle. The woman knew them as her own people, by their raiment and their soft, oval eyes that were bright almost as the stars themselves, although to the girl they were but foreign creatures. The woman recognised, too, the young warrior in their midst. In a voice rich with strength and vigour, he told a tale that led a merry hunt through forest and dale, slowing only to emphasise the finer points of the quest. In the telling of his story, the young man turned his face up and began a refrain that as it left his lips, swept a path to the stars. The woman could clearly see the maiden, standing unnoticed as yet at the edge of a forest. Like those gathered about the fire, she too was lost in the song. The voice of the warrior reached out to curl about the maiden, who, in the half-light of her dream, was drawn to move closer. As an involuntary sigh of longing left her lips, he looked up. His face registered first surprise and then joyful recognition. Reaching a hand toward the maiden, he opened his palm to reveal a glowing heart, his heart, if she would take it. It was in that moment the woman knew these two were bound together by an ancient force, a gesh pledged long ago that entwined their two fates. She saw with clarity that the warrior would follow the maiden to the great sea and beyond, that where she went, he would follow. The woman gasped as she realised that for him it would mean certain death. A question filled her mind that must be answered and without delay. The festival of Yuletide was almost upon them when the mother would grace the people with her presence. 